Notes Payable Assume that a business bought goods for $4,000 from a supplier and promised to pay within one month. Usually, suppliers agree on such terms and accept the delay in payment without charging any interest on that amount. It is regarded as accounts payable. What if the business bought goods for $400,000 and asked for six months to pay? The supplier in this case could ask the business to sign a promissory note that bears interest and has a maturity date. In our example, the supplier asked for 6% and to be paid after six months. The business signs the note and passes it over to the supplier. Another example may be that the business asks the bank to lend it money for two years. The bank will agree to lend the money if the business signed the promissory note to pay the amount of the loan, which is $100,000 in our case, in two years and pay an annual interest of 12%. This is what we call notes payable. Now let's see how to account for notes payable. Assume that on October 1st, a business received a loan from a bank. The business will sign a note and send it to the bank indicating that it is going to pay, let's say, $100,000 after two years, in addition to an annual interest of 12%. On that date, the business received cash, so cash is debit for $100,000 and notes payable is credited by the same amount. At the end of the financial period, which is December 31st in our case, the business needs to make an adjusting entry to record the accrued interest that accumulated over time. To calculate the accrued interest, we will multiply the principal amount by the interest rate by the period of time since the loan is received. The period here is three months that cover the time from October 1st till December 31st. So accrued interest is equal to $100,000 multiplied by 12% by three over 12 to be equal to $3,000. The adjusting entry to record the accrued interest is to debit interest expense to include that expense in within the period's expenses and credit interest payable which is a liability to be paid later after nine months. After one whole year since receiving the loan, that is nine months since January 1st, the business is to pay the lender the interest of a whole year. The accrued interest for nine months is equal to $100,000 by 12% by nine over 12, which is equal to $9,000. Remember that we had previously calculated $3,000 of interest that accrued in the previous year. To record an entry of paying interest of $12,000, interest expense is debit by $9,000 to record the interest expense related to the new year, interest payable is debited by $3,000 to decrease the liability, and cash is credited by $12,000 as it is paid. At the end of the second year, on December 31st, the business needs to record a new adjusting entry to record the accrued interest for the year. Accrued interest is $3,000 as previously illustrated. The adjusting entry is debit interest expense by $3,000 and a credit interest payable. At maturity date, the business is to pay the interest for 9 months of $9,000. The entry to record the payment of interest is to debit interest expense for $9,000 and interest payable for $3,000 and to credit cash for $12,000. The business is also to pay back the principal amount of the loan. In such a case, it debits notes payable as the liability decreases and credit cash for the principal amount of $100,000.